like that. Okay. Um, but a lot of this revolves around area control, missile control, micromanagement is a huge uh -huh. thing in this game. Yep. Um, the normal sort of rock, paper, scissors combat is all in there. There's a lot of strategic economy choices in terms of how many harvesters you're building. Lots of uh, Tiberium, I see. Lots of Tiberium, of course. You can yeah. see we've got the uh, Mammoth Tank in there in his uh, his deck, so he's going to need to uh, get a strong economy going with a couple uh -huh. of harvesters to really be able to afford those. Okay. Um, so tell me a bit about, you know, the, the personality of Cincy is one thing I, I love playing, right. characters like that. So how are you bringing, you obviously got some of the units, but are there other famous kind of units or lines? Of yeah, like so we've, spies? totally, we've got, uh, so we have uh, four commanders perfection. Um, yeah. Players are able to play with those. Kane is one of them. Okay. So players will be able to see Kane and play with them. Uh -huh. um, but the personality really comes to life on the board. Sure thing, starting emulator. So we have the mammoth tank. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Banshee, the Flame Troopers, you know, just, you know, we're really digging into Command & Conquer. This is sort of almost like an All-Stars type thing where yep. we're just getting all the best units from all the games in the Tiberium universe and trying to get them in here. So not obviously with a, a map only this size, you know, things like Fog of War. Is Heart there? Yeah, I see it's sort yeah. of there, which is harder to do, right? Right. But it's like... So no, it's really I, I think, um, I mean, the biggest thing that we want players to do is give this game a chance. Yeah. It, if you give it a chance, you will see that it's all about control, it's all about competition, and there's real depth and skill and strategy in it. Right. Um, just, just give it a chance. Like, we have been loving playing this game. Yeah. As players have been coming into the pre-alpha, they seem to be enjoying it. We're playing a lot of really great matches with them. Um, we can't wait yeah, to see what players do. What was the, was the toughest decision sort of doing it all on one screen? Was that the one where it's like so radical people are like, it's really going to work? That was, we actually what solved that pretty early on. Okay. Getting continuous unit control okay. right was a big challenge because it's cognitively that load is really challenging for players. Yeah. But that's what an RTS is all about. So you yeah. totally need that. Um, so we solved that in a pretty elegant way that is able to deliver on those core RTS emotions that okay. what it's all about. So Android now iOS soon or so, what's the plan? Yeah, we're going to be rolling okay. it out. Uh, nothing to announce on dates, but yeah. for us, we're focused on combat balance, matchmaking. It's all about fun, fair, and competitive matches. All right. Well, I, it's great to see CNC back. I know, as you said, it's, it's a radical departure, and you guys knew that. So, yes. Uh, you said people probably have to go hands-on and sort of try it. Give it a shot, please. Um, but uh, great to see that the franchise lives on in kind of a new way. Yeah. And, uh, Great to see more, hopefully uh, more. And the idea, obviously, is you'll continue to update with sort of- No question, we've got tons of stuff coming out. Big roadmap. All right, the Red Alert expansion, cool. right? <laughs> we'll see. Let's hope. <laughs> Bring on Yuri. All right, right, well, thanks very much, guys. Thanks we so appreciate much. it. Uh, well, time is flying, and we're almost done with hour one, so let's take a look at what's next on YouTube Live at E3. Coming up very soon is the Microsoft press conference, Team Xbox. Uh, that's really important, and that's gonna be happening at the top of the hour. Then, right after the press conference, we've got some exclusive footage from Soul Calibur VI, the first gameplay of one of the big characters we'll be revealing, and then we'll take a dive into the world of Kingdom Hearts 3, announced overnight that it's coming out in January 2019. It's a little delay, because they had previously promised uh, 2018 from Nomura, but it'll be end of January, we'll talk about that. And later today, we'll have a look at Call of Duty Black Ops 4 with David Bondahar and Dan Bunting from Treyarch will be with us. So we've got lots of great stuff coming up on YouTube Live at E3 today. All you need for video games, eight hours live, we're only one hour in and we are getting dangerously close, 10 minutes out to the Xbox press conference. And now we are officially joined by some very special guests to talk about Microsoft's press conference. We gotta get our predictions in, so joining us, uh, returning, Boogie, I haven't even seen you yet. I'll give you a hug after, but thank you for well, coming out. I'm, thanks for having me out, man. It's I so great to have you. To be here. It's going to be a fun E3 alongside Rooster Teeth's Bernie Burns, the co-creator of YouTube Red's Good Game, Michelle Morrow and Angry Joe. Hey. Hi, guys. How you yeah. doing? What's up, Jeff? This is quite, quite the team. How you doing? You look, you look very dapper well. today. Uh, thank you. I'm, I, it's, a, it's a big day, and I'm yeah. excited we're all here. And the press conference is literally right there. Someone from Xbox texted me. It's like, you're stealing Bernie. He's got to be there for the open of the press conference. I have to, like, run <laughs> after this. Not that I'm doing anything official, but, no. you know. Uh, you never know, <laughs> right? No. No. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about Xbox. Um, you know, a big press conference, lots of rumors, news. What, what do you guys want? We'll start with you, Bernie, because, I mean, Halo, Xbox, that's, you know, yeah. defined the early days of Rooster Teeth and Buddha, Texas, you know, yeah. red versus blue. What do you want to see at Xbox? There hasn't been a lot
All right. Um, all right. So, Kel, can you hear me now? I could have sworn I heard me hurt. Okay, you can hear me now. Perfect. All right, cool. So it was just a weird glitch. Um, that's that's weird. That's really stupidly weird. Okay, cool. Let's uh turn this back up. There's Angry hey, Joe. Do or die time. It, I'm serious. Really? This do or die time for Xbox. Wow. I'm serious. For this generation? Yes. Or for the platform as a whole? For for this generation. Yeah. You know that I'm waiting for. Are you the gonna next Are you gonna torture? Uh, Xbox I kind of I kind of agree with Angry Joe, Joe saying Me this is like is Xbox's know, big thing. Um, I don't know anything like major coming out for the Xbox to be completely honest. Like this exclusive title. Cal, how you been? Thank you that my glasses are nice and shiny. I try to make them nice and shiny. Yay. Below, you know, average. They had some good titles there, and they were hardware and teraflops. What time is it? It's eight minutes left. But if you don't have the games, then none of that matters. And they like to tout, you know. Uh, the best way to play yeah. these third-party titles. E3 is uh, E3 is my big thing. I love E3, and I'm finally able to have a schedule where I can enjoy E3. Uh, I missed yesterday's uh, EA, but from what I read, I didn't miss much. So that's not a big deal. Um, I just like watching the releases, to be completely honest with you, dude. Final decision at 3 o'clock. Final decision. If they're with you or not. <laughs> All right, Joe, we'll find out. Michelle, yeah, well, uh, what do you want to see from Xbox? I'll just mute these guys real fast. Um, the one I look forward to the most, though, is Nintendo's. That is the one I look forward to every year. I wake up ass early so I could get online and watch it. Um, Sony, this year I'm hoping we get Mortal Kombat 11. That would be super cool. I'd love to have Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, Xbox, I don't, I'm just curious to see what they release. I don't own an Xbox. Uh, I've been tempted to get an Xbox, but I need to get a, uh, just for the, uh, HD playback, the 4K playback. Let's get all the chats up and running. There we go. I don't, dude, I love Nintendo. Uh, Sony... Sony has great exclusives, and they're really big with the Japanese RPG market, and that's what I really look forward to seeing is new Japanese RPGs. Uh, I just got my uh, a new one the other day that I can't wait to play. Um, I don't know what else they could announce for Sony that I could be really big onto. I'm, I'm just I'm looking over everything. Maybe I want Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, which usually gets announced during a Sony conference, even though it's cross-platform. I want... I wouldn't mind a Horizon Zero Dawn sequel. That would be kind of cool. Uh, the, I don't know what other... I don't know any other games. I mean... Maybe a new Twisted Metal, but that won't ever happen. The last one didn't sell very well. You know, but Nintendo, man, I want to see the new Smash Brothers. Uh, a new Donkey Kong would be fine. Uh, I really, really want to see footage of Metroid Prime 4, because Metroid's one of my favorite um, franchises Nintendo releases. I'd love to see that. Um, I'm curious about the new Smash. I want to know. I want. Uh, I wouldn't mind some Splatoon news because I'm a I'm a fan of Splatoon a lot. Dude, a new Kid Icarus would be a lot of fun. I want to know if the rumors of a racing game based off F uh, Star Fox is true, because that would be kind of cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. That'd be really fun. But um, I'd like to see. Let's see here. Just telling people that the stream started. I love my Xbox One X as a retro machine. Yeah. And All right, there we go. 
I just want a good Star Fox, man. I mean, the one on the Wii U was so disappointing. Not because of the gameplay, but because of the god dang controls! Holy balls, the controls on Star Fox Wii U suck! And everyone keeps telling me, you're just not playing it right. Now, screw that noise, man. The, the motion controls were terrible on Star Fox for the uh, Wii U. Alright, and I hate saying that, because look, I love Star Fox. But Nintendo has to stop remaking the same damn game. Every Star Fox seems to be a remake of Star Fox 64. Let's get away from Cortana. Let's go all the way to like, other parts of the galaxy, you know? What's up? Three minutes! Three minutes, everyone! Place your bets. Place your bets. I'm going to place bets on... We're going to see uh, Halo. I'm going, to, I'm going to put bets that we see Halo today. Uh, we're going to see a new Gears of War. Um, I would love to see a new Titanfall because I keep hearing Titanfall is very good. And I just bought Titanfall 2 for like four bucks. So I want to play that. But everyone place your bets. What do you guys think you'll see? Yeah, I'd like to see new characters for Star Fox also. All right. Oh yeah, they just mentioned the hollow lens thing that Xbox was working on. That cool thing that you could like have the lens appear where your know, game appears on the world. Oh yeah, they dropped that. That's a shame. That actually looked really cool. Yeah, I agree with what they're saying. They're talking about like how Xbox needs more exclusives strictly for the Xbox, not this, you know, where it's also on the computer. You know, that's why, that's the primary reason I don't have an Xbox, is any game on the Xbox I can easily get on my computer, you know, and I can run it beautifully now. So that's a shame. We're down to the two-minute mark, everybody. Yay! Hey, Chancellor. Uh, yeah, I saw that, that they have... Um, I did see that they said they had 15 games to showcase, which is why I'm excited. It sounds like they're really, like... Um, they really want to come in all... Oh, Robbie! Hey, buddy! <laughs> oh, I'd love to have you, dude. Yeah, um, they said 15 games, so that's big guns. That's a big announcement. I hope it's good. I have nothing against Xbox. I really don't. Sony, I have a love-hate relationship with. Uh, Xbox has always been off the sidelines, and I hope... I don't know. I'm kind of like an underdog these days. Mostly because everything is ported on the damn computer, which I think hurts them more than helps them. Oh, the timer's gone. Okay, so we're going to switch over to the uh, conference very shortly. I'm all excited. I want to see what's good. I don't think we'd see another Assassin's Creed, though. They would show that at the Ubisoft conference, which is... Hold on, I got it listed here. The Ubisoft cons, uh, conference is tomorrow. I think it's at 3. No, tomorrow at 1 is Ubisoft's. Oh, you mean that you need they need a good rival or something? That'd be fun. I miss the old Sega versus Nintendo rivalries. No, I disagree with Angry Joe. I have never been a fan of announcements that are like two, three years away. All right, guys, we got the conference. Let's turn up the volume and uh, let's kick back and see what we get. All excited, right? Oh, Crackdown 3. That'd be kind of cool. The second Decepticons. 
All right, can you guys hear everything okay? I'm... This is the Xbox E3 2018 briefing. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm starting straight off with a. Uh... Got a game image and demonstration. I hate these kind of trailers. The Forest HD. Two meter? No, wait! Is it Titanfall 3? Turok? Africa 2. Electric Google. I see Max. Oh. Yep, you called it Robbie Halo. Please welcome the head that of Xbox, that show Phil Spencer. For the beautiful it did look cool, but well, here's where they're probably going to talk about it. Let's find out what it's about. <laughs> hey, Phil. Are people waving t-shirts around? With Halo Infinite. We will join Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. What is it? Tell me. We are now at a moment of exceptional creativity in gaming. We can't wait to show you what Creativity Unleashed looks like for you. So to all the gamers around the world, across time zones and languages, to every single person watching us on TV and on Mixer, and to our largest ever live audience, the thousands of you with us right here in the Microsoft Theater, welcome to E3 2018. Yay. I'd like to personally thank everyone who's joining us from FanFest. There's a lot of Xboxes on that stage. That's interesting. What are they going to do with all 100 these Xboxes? 100% of the proceeds from your FanFest tickets are going to Gamers Outreach. Yay! Thanks to you, kids in children's hospitals get to game with their friends in their favorite worlds. It's a great cause. That's what I appreciate most about gaming. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects us. It inspires our truest cooperation. Let's see if it you're creates right, some uh, of our fondest Bobby. memories of competition and our deepest conversations about the stories within games. Most of all, gaming fosters real community. It reaches across age, ability, race, gender, and geography. This is why I've always believed and will always believe that gaming is the great unifier. And what unifies us is our shared love of this art form. <laughs> Legendary characters who captivate us. Well, the, the old Not days just of for game, 10 hours, go visit but for couch. 10, 20, 30 years. You know what I'm saying? 
bold stories that the inspire the hero really within us. Taken off. Iconic worlds that are so richly imagined, we feel excitement in the air and danger on the seas. As gamers, we are at a momentous time where creative vision and cutting edge technology together are delivering the art form we love. So, I do for like months, Phil. our teams and I have traveled the world, meeting developers from Japan to Poland, from the UK to the Ukraine, from big studios to single developers, creators who seize the full power and potential of Xbox One I agree with you, Robbie. to express so their too. most daring vision for games. Today, we've curated a bold showcase of their best work and ours. Good. 50 games. 50? 18 titles with exclusivity and 15 world premieres. Some will be first timers on this stage and others will be Ready first timers montages, on any guys? stage. <laughs> All are imagined by the industry's greatest talents. Yeah, that's, that's All those demonstrate are good numbers. what true artisans can create. Mind blowing art, immersive sound effects, breathtaking worlds. So let's jump in. It really has to. All right, here we go. First exclusive title. Well, minus the whole Halo thing. Let's watch. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? <laughs> That's cute. Hey, monster. What's up, buddy? Ori. Oh my god, this looks adorable. Is it? I'm glad you did, monster. Oh, this game is beautiful. It's Xbox's newest exclusive. I never played the first one, uh, Robbie. Was it any good? Gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love art styles like this. It is beautiful. Look at that. Hey, Robbie, is Ori on Steam at all? I love you. I World try the premiere. Oh, here we go. Something brand new. On a Musha. Chesson. Ninja Kaiden. So you're awake. Oh, that's cool. Looks like death is not your fate. Just yet. From software. Activision. Some time has passed since I found you. Uh, your master still lives. They'll soon make use of his bloodline. This looks like an Onomusha game. you have lost will give way to but that's something Capcom, more. Not Useful. You'll learn to appreciate its worth. Did his hand become a sword? Oh, this is cool. Oh, 
Oh, Samurai God of War! Oh wait, is this like Xbox's version of Dark Souls now? Is this like Samurai Dark Souls? Easily. Shadows die twice. I don't like centipede. Shut up. That looked cool. Please welcome from Bethesda Game Studios. Stop it, Cal. Howard. Oh, that game looked good. But that says a world premiere. Does that mean exclusive or or what? I heard there's rumors of a price drop. How's everybody doing? Oh shoot, we oh, see some fallout see footage in the behind, background. You know, actually, the Bethesda event is a few hours right after this across the street. And uh, Phil said to me, I'm having a few friends over. Why don't you uh, stop by? Crap, what was that and game look, title? I know Phil is really, really charming. Um, but damn, he's got a lot of friends. <laughs> and the good news is, you're our friends too. Oh, this We've guy had works with an Bethesda, incredible 16-year history with Xbox going all the way back to the original with Morrowind. Morrowind! Now backwards compatible. And that goes all the way to bringing mods to consoles with Fallout 4. Yeah, I like the fact they brought mods to consoles finally. And now we are bringing the Fallout universe to Xbox Game Pass with Fallout 4 launching today. Oh, cool. All right. And hey, since we're here, we thought we'd give all of you an exclusive world premiere first look at Fallout 76. Yay! Fallout 76. Let's check this out. Not exclusive, but getting Yes, seen. Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games. I... And it is our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Wow. Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed and very different wasteland. It reminds you of Martin Short. That's funny. This might be the next Fallout game I end up buying. Let's see how it plays, though. That's the question. Because all the tweets and stuff made it sound like it's going to be a very different style of Fallout. You know what I'm saying? All right. No one speak. I'm sorry. years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Sounds like it. Heaven. West Virginia. Oh, I like the Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me When the 
fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled. You must rebuild. Is it not just up? walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. In Vault 76, our future begins. All right, first of all, I love the color. All right, there, it, it looks gorgeous. Um. World premiere. The fact that we get to see the force. I have so many copyright strikes at the end of this. I don't know where to begin. And I don't know where to begin. It's just me, Captain Spirit. Flying Fortress. Oh, cool. Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. Keep me posted. Press breakfast. Okay, Dad. You're drinking beer? I don't need a lecture from my son. I always get picked last for the team at school, and they never throw the ball to me. They can't tell stories like you can, can they? No way. 100%. I agree. Start the launch. Too late. This time, you won't get away from me. Oh, that's so cute. I love this. I miss Mom's smile. Me too. Nobody's friend. You're probably gonna change the world. I hope so. I know so. Captain Spirit is here! The awesome adventures so of Captain sweet. Spirit. Download for free from June 26th. 100% free? What? Exclusive. Oh, here we go. Everyone get ready. Um, I just started playing the Commander first level. Jack on deck. Welcome to Crackdown 3. Ah! The only game built like me. Big, beautiful, like a skyscraper. Falling at your face. Hey, what's if up? If you want to play on my level, follow my lead. Zoom in. Somebody give me my jam. There we go. It's all about getting the jump on the enemy. No building is too high. 60 stories up, incoming! Build <laughs> up that raw power. Grab more, grow more. Nama, nama, nama. Big, bigger, Jackson! Then you need that fire power. Homing rocket gun, bullseye. Vortex cannon, see ya. Graviton tether. Have you two met? And the most powerful weapon of all, me. And then I roll out like a boss. Man, push off fools, pull up the side this looks right building, up my alley, man. My this is like Saints Row on crack. Oh, he turned into a track of tank. Man, these bad guys just won't quit. They got mad, mad scientists, and mad a master plan. Here we go. Oh, yeah! Boom! It's a fuck gun! Boom! I need that! I want that! <laughs> that looks like fun! We will take back our world from the scourge of the machine! Oh, this is that, um... God, Crackdown 3 looks good. Glory to mankind! Let's see here. 
Uh, Crackdown 3 will be on PC also. And the skies rained missiles, and the ground Ooh, burned to ash, and the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. So let us not fear good? the heretics at our door. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil, and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies really? by conviction or really out of fear. We will not falter. Oh, that's definitely Let Russian us hell. steel ourselves against them. For this is our hour of glory. Amen. Let's move out, Artyom. Metro kept getting Metro confused with, uh, They want like, blood? They will get it. We'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. Oh, that's such a kind of reminds me of resistance. Oh, fishy! What's up with all these games and giant bats? There's Phil back. Hey, Phil. God, that Metro game actually looks really good. Metro had me at its gritty visuals, brutal landscapes, and its mystery of the ruins above ground. What I love about our art form is the vast range of creative expression, from grim post-apocalyptic battles to hand-painted spirit guardians. Whatever world these creators build, whatever story they tell, Whatever sound effects they use, we will work okay, with I'll, creators I'll to list, guarantee Bobby. that their games look and play best on Xbox One. I don't know why I just kept thinking Metro and like Chernobyl this next were game. like um, Generations have loved role-playing role playing games, games from Invented Studios in Japan. Our next game is the latest in a legendary series. Ooh, ooh. For the first time ever on Xbox, Kingdom Hearts. What? Oh, snap! Oh, look at that graphics. It's cold! Guess he's too used to the beach. Hey, Islander, what can I say? Look, even the sea's turning to ice. Wow. Let it go, let it go. You are one with the wind and sky. A walking, talking snowman. You really are alive. Hello. Olaf, are these your friends? Hmm? Nope. Never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's oddly spiky. Does the animation seem off to you guys? Yeah. Like in the cutscenes. Like the, the lip sync seems off. Yeah. Give me strength! Simba! Yeah. Oh, fix it, Felix! Uh. Whoa! Yeah! Ha! Take this! Oh, 
Monsters Inc. Tangled. Amazing. Probably. You can control ice. Control it? No, all I ever do is hurt people. This is my home now. I can't go back. I don't want to hurt anyone. Herc! Oh, Hercules! Uh, <sighs> look out! They don't really mean, really mean, oh. You're only everything I ever dreamed. Roxas and does exist. Dreamed. His heart's inside my heart. The other Twilight Town is just data. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? I, I know, know. I want to know. Well, audio. good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. The voice acting seems really bad. Like, like, like it doesn't feel as dramatic as it's trying to be. Yeah. This Keyblade. Is that? Maybe it's because it's been. You're too late. Yeah, it's. it's... You know, JRPGs sometimes have shoddy Exclusive. voice acting. Uh, the game graphically looks beautiful. It kind of gets me... I kind of want... Oh, no. It's so hey, Tori, darling. Sharks! Are you guys going to finally complete the game? Oh my god, they do You didn't cower in the doorway. Muppet Treasure Island I actually crossover, like I would meeting die. new people. Uh, besides, the conversation with my friend here has reached a bit of an impasse. I think he just needs a moment to cool off. Now, I sense that you brought me something to inspect. Oh, they already have the Show Kraken. Show me. Oh, Cal. Uh, oh. The waves of change roll throughout the seas, and a new land is revealed. The forsaken shores. I agree, Robbie. A place of right now, darkness, it's like, uh, no where fire Sorry, and ash conceal all. And from the depths, skeleton crews will rise to curse the seas. An ancient evil set loose upon the sea of thieves. You have delivered unto me a portent of two most terrible. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you just wanted nice. to know how much it was worth, didn't you? Fine, I'll give you ten for it. First sails and forsaken shores. Same here. I, like when I saw it, I was like all excited, Robbie. And then I saw the gameplay, and then the price tag. If it was twenty bucks, I'd get it. Get some of my friends, have a little laugh. You must pay for the unthinkable price to set you. Can we see the footage? I can't read that from so far away. Oh, it's EA and Dice. Never mind. Oh, Bad Company Three. Bad Company Three. Bad Company Three. Gør det, synes jeg. Blandt andet deres var vakkert og forstyrrende. Da jeg som barn fortalte mig historier om skabninger og monstre. Vi ved, at nogen er derude. Bare fortæl mig, hvem det er. Exclusive I'm world premiere. Not really just 
Is that jazz in the whole battle? I like the destruction of Battlefield, I will say that much. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's their new, uh, their new racing game. Oh, uh, what is this, Forza? Pretty sure I saw that tractor clipping through the snow. I think these games are really good for people who enjoy this, like, simulator racing games. Graphically, they're beautiful. We need a lot more sheep. Yes, I agree, Tori. God, it's gorgeous. It, these are such beautiful games. So what, is it like Forza open world or what? I want a burnout game that looks like this. Not Need for Speed, I want an actual burnout game. Forza's always looked absolutely beautiful, okay? I had nothing against Forza. They're just not my type of game. Please welcome the whole racing from simulator. Playground Games. I like Ralph racing with Fulton. crashes. You give me Burnout? Hell yeah, I can play Burnout all week. That's why I have an Xbox 360, just for Burnout Revenge. That's literally the only game I own on it. Thank you so much. It is fantastic hey, to be here today. I am excited to show you the world premiere of Forza Horizon 4. He looks nervous Set as hell, beautiful, look at him. historic Britain. Dude, the Mad Max game was Forza great, Horizon Kelly. 4 features dynamic seasons in a shared open world. Yeah, it's, and seasons it's, it's not my thing, Robbie. Change it's just... everything. Let me introduce you to oh, some of our team sheep, who will be helping Wait, demo the game today. Oh, Please welcome Bill, demos. who is online with a few friends in the beautiful English countryside. He has chosen the incredible new McLaren Senna. That can't be. And say hi yet. to Solomon, who is hanging out with his buddies on the streets of Scotland's capital, hey. Edinburgh. What's so that? Solomon here? is driving the Hoonigan Ford Focus. And please welcome Andy, whose off-road buggy is perfect for taking jumps. Scaling Did you guys see that? He had like something and having in his fun hand that wasn't on an the Xbox controller. It was like Britain. one joystick. It was like a nunchuck. Let's like, join Rebecca. Nunchuck. She is enjoying the summer in her highly customized hey, Nissan Sylvia. Yeah, I don't have the Forza either, but it's beautiful to look at. The sky is blue, and it's the perfect day for a drive. Forza Horizon 4's Britain is a shared oh open world. God, when you play, you play with the entire community. Wow. The other drivers you'll meet in the game will be real people with all the variety, spontaneity, and fun that real people bring. Let's join Bill. He's in the same shared world as Rebecca, driving at speeds made even more thrilling on Xbox One X by the brand new 60 FPS mode. <laughs> Meanwhile, Andy is bouncing around the dunes nearby. Wow. As you can see, Horizon 4 is still full of action-packed fun. And now we're going to show you how it seasons does look really cool. change everything. In Horizon 4, yes, I every did. Season I did, with Robbie. I love the, the fact they did around that. You, with each bringing its own unique beauty and unique gameplay. One of the great things yeah, about this shared point, world is that right. it's easy to interact with the people you meet. 
Here, Solomon and Rebecca use the new quick chat feature on the D-pad to start a new friendship. It looks like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. It's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. Horizon 4 lets you seamlessly enter co-op wow. from within the game world. But can you crash? Seasons, time of day, and weather conditions are dynamic. Thank God. But they are synchronized for every player, so the entire community will experience them at the same time. Don't run over the sheep! Right, Robbie? This is like perfect. Now, as much uh, as we'd all love to sit and watch the sun well go done. down together, let's see how this scene looks in winter. <laughs> Someone just yelled out, we got a new truck. The entire open world changes beyond recognition. In winter, the lake has frozen solid, and previously inaccessible areas can be reached. The trees wow. have entirely lost their leaves, and snow and ice covered the terrain. The visuals and the driving experience couldn't be more <laughs> different. I love you, Tony. And now a blimp has appeared over the ice to signal the start of a new world event. World of this. Forza Thon Live invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. That's and while cool. they head off to the event, I'd like to show you how the world of Forza Horizon 4 looks in spring. I Once love again, this idea of a giant open world the racing season, community. Bringing new driving experiences, that is really well new done. It's really cool looking. New now give me that with burnout. The whole world. Every season, there are new reasons to play Forza Horizon 4. Can you run over deer? the huge, creative, fun-loving Horizon community will be there to enjoy oh, them with you. Oh, that's so cool. Today, you've seen a completely new take on Horizon. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world in which dynamic seasons change everything. Forza Horizon 4 is coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 on October 2nd, and I am thrilled to announce that it will be included in Xbox Game Pass on the same day. Uh, Thank you so much. Cool. Very cool. Please welcome back, Phil Spencer. Again, it's not my type of game, but that looked like a lot of fun. I like the huge multiplayer world concept, you know what I'm saying? We know that exclusive okay, games Robbie, from our Microsoft I like studios that idea. are what originally turned so many of us into Xbox fans. My team and I take our commitment to you seriously hey, to Phil. make Xbox One the best place for you to play. 100%, Robbie, I agree with you. And for you to have the best games on the world's most powerful console. This is why we're increasing oh. our investment in our existing franchises that you already love. Oh. And this is why we are amplifying our investment in new worlds that will deepen your love for gaming on Xbox. We embarked on a quest. What's your quest? A quest to find creative teams that have the mastery of our art form. And we found innovative game designers, master storytellers, exceptional world builders. Okay, good. And now, I'm proud to introduce the creation of a brand new Microsoft Studio. The Initiative. The Initiative. Microsoft is gonna take Led over the world. Led by Daryl Gallagher, a visionary storyteller who has worked across some of the most iconic franchises for over 20 years. This new Santa Monica Studio is building a team of world-class talent to create groundbreaking new game experiences. Like what? And next, I'm excited to welcome Undead Labs to Microsoft Studios. Undead Labs. This studio caught our attention with their visionary approach to building a zombie survival franchise. They just released their second infestation into the world and in the first two weeks, oh. over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Oh, Microsoft got the state of a now, key, guys, huh? It's my distinct pleasure to announce that we have acquired 
playground games. This is one of I've the of highest them. rated studios of this generation, celebrated for their incredible craftsmanship. Not only will Playground Games continue to work on Forza Horizon, they're bringing their open world expertise to an entirely new project. New project? We can't wait to share more about that later. And for the fourth new studio, it's my personal honor to welcome Ninja Theory to Microsoft. What? They brought up Ninja I met Theory. Nina and Tamim when we collaborated on Kung Fu Chaos back on the original Xbox. Oh, And a minute shoot. into playing Hellblade, you know you're in the hands of master storytellers who are fearless about telling bold cinematic stories. This is a team gifted in creating new franchises. And yes, we've got a fifth studio to announce. Compulsion Games. Two years ago, we premiered a game we couldn't get out of our heads. I don't a know game that captivated games. us with its strong, fresh, and intense storytelling. We Happy Few is, release, is, is nearing its full release to gamers everywhere. I don't know So compulsion. please help me in welcoming all of our new studios. Good job, Microsoft. By joining us Good at Microsoft job, Studios, guys. these five new teams will have the resources, the platform, and creative independence to make big, take bigger risks, create even bolder worlds for you. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh, but you know the truth, don't you? Ooh, Gearbox. There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? Have you had your joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in rainbows. Have you not noticed? Oh, Ollie. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. We have to tell is people. This? They need to know the truth. No. It's better not to know. But I, I recognize the white mask. I don't know what it is, though. We, 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 we. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington World. Do what you should be doing, and you never have to worry. Oh my god. <laughs> Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. It's not a lovely day for it. It's Wait, is this beyond good and evil? It's a terrible day for it. If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat. Where is it? Where's the blackberry? You've gone too far this time. What is this? People won't face facts. We happy few? Not until we take their joy. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Uh, now, okay, here's a question. How long has this game been around? Because I've seen that guy with the constable with that white mask for what well, feels like forever. Exclusive. Ooh, console launch exclusive. Okay, that explains why I've seen it around. Oh, is this pub? Okay. Great new maps, though. I haven't tried any of these Battle Royale games. I feel like it's something I'd be really bad at playing. Does it really, Robbie?
Are you talking about Cub? Huh, that's cool. I don't know if I'm into the whole battle royale type of game. <laughs> the audience didn't seem that impressed. There's just a few like, woo, woo. World premiere. Ah, this is what I like. I like world premieres, man. Yeah, I'm not either. Oh, anime game. What? Xbox has a JRPG. Ten out of ten for Wolfies. Oh, they got a Tales game, huh? I just picked up uh, the newest Tales, Tales of Viseria. That's a big ass sword. I love games with anime cutscenes. I don't know why. I always like them. Tales of this Tentative Edition. Good for Xbox for getting a JRPG for once. What's next? World premiere. Oh, another premiere. I like premieres. There are 69,000 people watching Washington, right D.C., the most heavily protected city on Earth. Within its limits, 177 foreign embassies, 550 uh, elected I think they officials, only made the sequel of and 23,000 military new personnel. Too. That's it. I think they worked In the on the event sequel, of an attack, all. critical personnel are evacuated. Which is a shame. I think they should make a lot more open, games. Well, complex style. defense Beautiful. systems patrol the sky. But nothing stopped the virus. 27 days after patient zero, Washington fell. It began with riots on K Street, then shootings in the National Mall. Troops withdrew to bunkers. Civilians were left in the streets. America is on the brink of collapse. But some people have survived. Gardens grow on rooftops, their fences patrolled with rifles, in communities that live under constant siege. Survival has taken the form of urban warfare. Centuries ago, on this very soil, brother fought brother, spilling blood to forge the United States. History is threatening to repeat itself. I have no idea what now, this is. Now, in the heat of summer, six months after the outbreak began, a remnant of a corrupt state lurks in the shadows. The purge! To engage in a new civil war. Agents of the division are the only ones standing against it. But how do you save a nation oh, it's a new when its enemies game. come from within? Division 2, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actual in-game footage. Powered by Snowdrop. Was the Vision 1 any good? I see it every once in a while on my um, Steam. I wasn't I was thinking about trying it, but I wasn't sure. What oh no. Matt, that crash site is just ahead. Duke, Kit, did you guys hear that? Yeah. Closer this time. Yep, fake co-op. Fake co-op dialogue. 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Robbie. We went so far without fake co-op dialogue. Nobody talks like this in games. Parachute. Dropped right through the ceiling. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, that'll come in handy. <gasps> they grow children! No! Those monsters! So you guys are coming, or what? Yeah. God, I hate these. You're right, dude. This is cringy as hell. No one ever right. talks Merry like Christmas. this in a game. See me? I'll be like, oh dear! And right, I would've been running door. after it. So is this the division? Karpinski, it's the division. Alright, let yeah. me just talk to this guy. Glad to see you. We got a boy here who's gonna die without his meds. Those true sons assholes confiscated him. Along with most of our drinking water. Up around Pink Okay, Station. meet us at the sinkhole? Yep. Okay, sure. I like how dramatic she's like trying to sound, you know? Oh, it's a parachute that fell from the ceiling. Let's see if I can shoot it down. Wow. Okay. Definitely from the capital. Oh my god. You should have a new side mission on the map. Yeah, we're not that far. Okay, do it after the crash site? Sounds good. I want to reenact this co op thing. With They're just toys. ahead of us, Matt. I'll be up in a sec. Kit, we gotta get you leveled up. I know. Please help. I've been busy. Oh Toxic my god. Chemical residue detected. I've been a lot of busy. loot down there. Uh, hey, you guys should really check this out. You should really Almost check there. this out. So that's the control point. Mm -hmm. Hey, wait for me. Oh crap, they have a tank. Yep, I see him. Don't aggro him yet. Let me adjust my build. Got my crossbow and chem launcher. Uh. Chem cloud out. Matt, can you flank them and get a clear shot? I'll take that sniper on top. Wait for it. Got her. <laughs> I'm sorry, Robbie. Grenade, grenade. Dude, come on. The problem is you can tell they're not like really playing because no one's this tall. Everyone's a smart ass. Everyone gets like pissy and trolly. You know, when you hear like grenade, it's more like get down. And no one casually tells you what they're doing. Whoa. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, oh no. You need a little I'm help? Stuck. Oh no. Thanks, Matt. Oh, there's a dude rushing through the plane. Guys. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Got him. I'm down. Yeah, hang on, I'll get you. I'll cover you guys. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Oh crap, Matt, watch out. Yeah, this will make you feel better, Robbie. Sure. Thank you for the revive, Meg. No one says revive. I've got this guy behind the tank. Unless it's revive me. Map of the hive, nice. All right, just lay it on him. Again? Drop down. Oh, there goes his armor. Ah. You're on your own. You go. Good job. Everyone loves Level the up. kitties. Level 30. Oh, sweet. Congrats. All right, flare is up. Control point is ours. Nice. Everyone loves the kitty. You guys want to check out the plane? Hey, Let's Ray. Let's go. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty Analyzing makes the day the better. Looks like a found. rough landing. God, they are really pushing this girl's script. Ugh. The game looks cool. It's the co-op dialogue that that's forcing nice. on us that ruins the experience. Let's check it out. Great because idea. it's Let's so fake. So, 
Game plan. Take the capital back. I think we're ready. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. They always do this with this with games. Please and it welcome sounds the terrible. head of engineering Xbox Game Pass, Ashley Spiker. Hi, Spiker. This is a special time for gamers. We've never had so many incredible games to play. Story she franchises, looks terrified. uncharted worlds new releases, and cult classics. Genres we love, and genres we love to explore. There's only one problem. Tell me. Too often we are forced to choose one amazing game over another. So we set out to solve that problem. And to answer the question, what if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? What? The answer, Xbox Game Pass, a way to give gamers the ultimate freedom to play. And your response has blown us away. Not only are you playing more games, you are spending more time gaming. Freedom of choice is leading to more discovery, God, look at all those more people play, tweeting and, and more fun. Right now. It's insane. And we couldn't be more inspired to keep building and unlocking more for you. So for the last year, we've been working on how to give you faster access to all those games. We leveraged the machine learning expertise we have at Microsoft and invented a way to start your games twice as fast. And naturally, twice. we're calling it Fast Start. Unlike the current Ready to Start system, which is manually configured, Fast Start uses machine learning techniques based on how gamers actually play games. And Fast Start is designed to get better as the algorithms and parameters are refined over time. I'm pleased to announce that Fast Start will of... launch for select titles <laughs> in the watch. June update coming later this month. This just sounds like fancy commercial TikTok. <laughs> so what is Game, game, um, game Pass, or whatever it's called? Is it a rental service? Ultimately, it all comes down to the games. We'll continue to deliver iconic favorites like Halo the Master Chief Collection, coming later this year. <laughs> More Halo. We also plan to release all new exclusive games from Microsoft Studios, including Forza Horizon 4, Crackdown 3, and more, into the Xbox Game Pass catalog on the same day as their global release. So you, you pay a monthly fee and you can play any game you want? Is that what Every you're saying? Every month, we'll also bring new games from leading creative studios into your Xbox Game Pass library. Games like, like a Netflix Ashen, for video games. Warhammer Vermintide 2, After Party, and Phoenix Point, all available in Xbox Game Pass the same day as their global release. What? 14 bucks? Is there a limit of how many games you can play a month? So like, that sounds like a crazy next. deal. But let's talk about what's happening today. Tell us, lady. Tom Clancy's The Division. Huh. The, the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. And Fallout 4. And Fallout 4. That's cool. All enhanced for Xbox One X in gorgeous 4K. And all of them playable today in Xbox Game Pass. And the servers crash! Nobody in the audience cares. Thank you to all of the developers working with us to bring freedom of choice to gamers around the world with Xbox Game Pass. That's pretty cool. Thanks, everyone. I don't know why. She looked absolutely terrified. What else we got? Out of Wilds. After parties. 
Being on two crowns. Ooh, I love my hooks a lot. I didn't know people still play golf games. Vermintide 2, a new Warhammer game. Fringe Wars. Hello. Yeah, but Ray, you get to play hundreds of games for one value instead of buying all of them. This is really cool game. Wow, that looks pretty. A new Battle Royale game. Yeah. Interesting animation style on that one. Is that claymated? Dungeon Crawler. The Wind Road. Oh, that looks like Final Fantasy. That's Advanced Wars right there. That was Advanced Wars. Gosh, I look for the Dark Souls type of game. I've heard about that Claymated game. I've actually been very curious about that. I thought I knew why I came here. That's the Tomb Raider. I saw it. The end. Yeah, Lord Croft! Was so vivid. But now the truth feels further away than ever. I still have so many questions. You said you were going These new Tomb Raider games have been great. And I actually like the new movie, too. I need to go back and play back my Tomb Raider. I still have it. I haven't played it. I played like an hour and it stopped. I don't know why. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Do you realize the tragedy you have unleashed? The cleansing has begun. It falls to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. What have I done? What have I done? Literally every game has said that, at least once. Oh, are we gonna get a lot more fatalities on her? That's so I felt bad for her. I agree with you, Ray, uh, Robbie. I like tropical settings. I like colorful games. You know, green trees and bright, beautiful suns. What's the craft edition? I know that it's not practical. Well, I know that it's hard to believe. Uh, let's see here. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, Cross Steelbook Edition. Let's see what it looks like. I need to put my birthday in. Are you serious? Fine. Just you need to trust me. I was born You have to trust each other. Okay. This game looks beautiful. This looks good. Oh! That guy's gonna be dead. He wants to alter the course of humanity. If you had that Is power, it? what would you do? Oh, that she looked badass right there. Okay, guys, so if you're interested. Um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, from what I could tell, just the Croft Edition is just a type of steelbook. Exclusive. Alright, here we go. Listen to this. So, the Croft Edition includes seven weapons, seven outfits, seven skills. They say I'm like Bruce Willis, unbreakable, die hard. You get to play at 48. Tripod, but I'm not Chow Yun Fat. Break them still a pillar of stone. What's this? Into your skull. Mash on your whole militia like a cannibal. Imagine you the antelope, and I'm the king of the jungle. Animal instinct, phenomenal stamina. Just think Show me Tony Hawk, and I'll lose my stuff right now. Checking who we are. 
If this is a Tony Hawk game, I'll lose it. If it's a generic skateboarding game, I'll pass. Okay, so here we go. Here you guys go. It's uh, yep, it's session. Sorry, Ray. So the Croft Steelbook Edition for ninety dollars gets seven weapons, seven seven side missions. Seven outfits, seven skills. You get the game 20, uh, 40 hours before everyone else. You get the Exclusive. soundtrack, three weapon and outfit packs, a beautiful steelbook and art once. cards. That's crap that they lock I seven missions differ. out, though. I was born three times, and I've met death three times. My first home was Altanova. The curiosity I gained there cost me my first life. I awoke again in Tarif, village of the sorcerers. I once thought that this would be my true home. It is a lot of crap you get with the game, Everything but that stuff should be in the game. When I started game. to ask the forbidden questions, what exactly is the true nature of the Black Stone? What lies beneath the vast desert? Yeah, and they're not just side missions, Robbie. They're me the uh, the seven desert. challenge tomes with narrative side missions. The world never paid heed to such questions. They just fought on. So they're blinded, they're new puzzles, but they include narrative. That's it is kind of garbage. Man. I hate that. You might as well just wait for the game of the year the edition. It sucks though because I love Steelbook. What is this? What are we watching? Dare to learn your true wretched self. Behold, I am Elezra, the Hi, darkness Elezra. born from the desert. What is that? An MMO? World premiere. All content shows rendered in engine in real time. We've known each other a long time. Hold the line! Hold the line! Nothing can do! Hello. What's this? EDF! 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 You gonna make it through this? They're demons! I've seen them with my own eyes! Red Grave has completely taken over! Let us pray for mercy. This is a trial from the heavens above. Devil May Cry, baby! Oh my god, his sword has an engine on it. Hey, honey. Need assistance? Hey, you have to hit every single bump in the road? <laughs> I ruin my crew. <laughs> this looks fun as hell. You're up, crew cut. You taking notes? What? Yeah, he's a real pro at smacking demons around. Is that Nero? Building that well functioning arm <laughs> to kick demon ass. Oh, this has a very grindhouse look to it. I love that. What? No chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point, huh? Giant boss battles, over the top action. The creature just shoved the cards. What? Every dime, you know it. Cash first. I've got a score to settle with that son of a bitch. Devil may cry. 
Now here's my question. Do I need to play Devil May Cry 4 to play this one? I mean, how closely combined are the narratives? Was that Dante on the motorcycle? Please welcome, from Capcom, producer Matt Walker and director Hideaki Itsuno. Hey, Itsuno. Wasn't Devil May Cry 4 the one where he was all emo looking? I lost track of the damn story. Lines. I wait for you for this. Let's see here. Devil Thank you so much. DMC is back. What is that? English, English is hard. Matt, you do it. <laughs> of course. It's been 10 years since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for Jesus, a true Jesus, 10 years? Since. So this is our response, loud and clear, that we hear you. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno are back. Now, I played Devil May Cry one and two. I never played Early three. On in the development do of I need to know 5, the story? We set our sights on creating go something that was going to have world-class I don't think you do. Wasn't so that we scanned like fully costume thing? models for all of our main characters, and with the power of Xbox One X, we're able to render them as realistically as possible. Power now, of Xbox while visuals X. are really important, the controls need to remain tight and responsive as well. So we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that we can still deliver that amazing gameplay that Devil May Cry is known for. And we think that we've made something that feels better than any action game we've ever created. Hold on, hold on. すべてのファンの皆様のためにファンの皆様のために一番の自信作が出てきましたありがとうございますありがとうございます伊豆さんは言っていますが私は信じています私は信じています私は信じています私は信じています私は信じています私は信じています私は信じています私は信じています私は信
in Halifax, Nova Scotia, is today commanding gaming's largest stage. Whether you're sharing the adventure of a tiny fox with more than 20 million viewers on Mixer, or teaming up with Xbox Live friends to slay zombies, gaming is an incredible community. We've always believed that building community is Let's vital see, who's next? for gaming. Bethesda will be at six o'clock. There's I real hope you guys power come back in our Bethesda. shared experience. Sharing the same world, the same seasons, the same campaigns. You saw it, Penguin, I'm and glad you did. there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. This community is the reason why we love premiering games here at E3. For the rest of our briefing, Everything you show you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. All right, here we go, guys. Keychain belt. I like that description. Starting off with something entirely new from our friends at Bandai Namco. Bandai? On my last trip to Japan, their creative team showed me a sneak peek at their next game. Show me. Now, you get to see the first look. Show me, show me, show me. I like World Bandai. Premier. Bandai's a great company. Here we go, here we go. There are worlds <gasps> that exist separate from our own. Where the impossible is reality. They consist of both good. One piece? And evil. These worlds were never meant to meet. But things have changed. Now, they have begun to merge as one. And our last hope. What? Naruto! One Piece! What? You what? To fight for our Is that Goku? It's Goku! Frieza! Oh my god, it's a tsunami. It's, it's an anime Smash Brothers. Now, I know they made these games before, but they're usually only in Japan. All right, so we got DBZ, we got One Piece, we got Naruto. I like how they're all fighting Frieza. Shojin Jump Force! That's cool! Oh! Death Note! You Sweet! To fight. That looks cool. World I like, Premiere. I might get that one. Oh! I wonder what anime characters are going to include. There's nothing permanent except hey, change. For Kalidus. It's so who's still in the chat room? Say here. Since the fall, the city is a corpse, and we are the worms. Hi, corpse. We burrow in it, fighting for every useful piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. Still, the right. I shall therefore speak a word unto here. Anyone who dares to steal <laughs> I 100% agree with you, Robbie. They need to. We've all been waiting. That's the one Every day effing game we wanted. Dust to choose between bad and worse. Get him! You're dead now! Was Dying Light any good? I never played the first one. That's my, this is my reaction for the whole conference. Is this game good? I have we'll never played it before. The world to come. You know the drill. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night. And good luck. All right. Now, is it a multiplayer game or is it a single player? Please or welcome is it both? narrative designer Chris Avalon. Hey, Chris Avalon. 
This is a long conference. I should have eaten beforehand. Hi, I'm Chris Avalone, and I'm excited to be working with Techland to create the world of Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2 is everything you'd expect from a bold sequel to the first game. A fluid parkour system with improved natural movement, deep and tactical first-person melee combat, and of course, terrifying nights when the infected emerge from the depths of the city to feed on anyone they can find. At the same time, we invite you to a new vision of the post-apocalypse. Tell me. A bleak and unforgiving reality that we call the modern Dark Ages. Today, however, we want to give you a look at one of the impressive new features of Dying Light 2, a technical and narrative advancement for the franchise. Okay. Dying Light 2 will be the first in its genre where your choices have genuine consequences in the game itself. From how it looks, how it plays, to the events that occur, everything in the game world can change based on your decisions. Yeah, we've heard the this before. The following demo throws a bit more light on this. Excuse me. You see, they always say your decisions affect the game, but they do it in such small ways. So I really want to see what this guy's bragging about. Oh my god, I'm a, that parkour system is beautiful. Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we are about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. You going to insult this with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeeper's orders. One way or another. That's cool. After this, you will start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level, and that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safer for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side. Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water on the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you will have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. Ooh, well scripted, man. Well performed. Bravo, a bravo, a bravo. <laughs> Exclusive world premiere. Jesus Christ, these guys weren't joking that they're going to show off a bunch of games today. A lot of time has passed. You've gotten soft, complacent. You always knew this day would come. Deadpool 2! You always knew the three of you would be needed again. Deadpool 2! You always... Wait, what? <gasps> no! No! Oh my god! Battletoads! A brand new game What? body morphing genre mashups, three player couch co-op, 4K then drawn 2.5D graphics, <laughs> and drawn non specific feature declarations. They're back. No way! They brought back Battletoads!
Why is the audience not freaking out right now? World premiere. All you guys in the audience suck! Woo! Battle toast! Sorry if my volume is really loud. There was no fear. Just cause four. No failure. Yep, just cause four. Have changed. They're saving the best stuff for last. Changed. Is there weather? And no one was ready for it. The Black Hand. They are the world's most powerful private army. But even they should fear what they've created. This is in a war, Rico. This is survival. Now how can they make Just Cause any more crazy than it already is? Oh my god, a new battle toast! Want me getting shot at? Holy time. Oh, I need the new battle zone so bad. As long as the controls are tight, if anything, that's the problem with the original game, was the controls, the, um, it, it, it was rough. It was really rough with the original battle toads. Wow. Oh shoot, Just Cause comes out this year. Holy balls, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Robbie. Oh God, World I was actually premiere. thinking about like what happened to Battle Toads. Like, Jesus, that's so cool. And hand-drawn graphics. Oh, here's the new gears, everybody. Wait, what? Okay, I won't lie, I'd play the hell out of this. I would play the hell out of a Funko Pop Gears of War. Oh my god, it, it's true. Oh, it's an app game. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's probably my second the coalition. Balls, then, if Please it's an welcome app game. Studio Head Rod Ferguson. Oh, wow. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I like Robbie's reaction. He's like, wait, what? Hey, if they could do Lego games, they could do Funko Pop games. 13 years ago, when I began my Gears of War journey, we had no idea how big this franchise would become. And as it's grown, we've dreamed of taking it to new places and different ways to reach even more fans. And that's why today we're announcing e for Gears everyone. Pop, a collaboration with our friends at Funko to bring a unique mobile spin to the world of Gears. Oh boy, here we and go. And mobile is not the only new place we're going. Here we go. I'm excited to also announce the true Gears of War PC experience in a completely different genre, Ooh. Gears Tactics. You create oh, a whole yeah. new squad 12 years before Gears of War 1 as they hunt a locust monster maker responsible for destroying whole cities. It's our take on the classic turn-based strategy genre with a character-driven story, faster, more aggressive gameplay, a customizable squad and equipment, and of course, it wouldn't be a Gears game without a massive boss battle. I hate tactical games. We look forward to sharing more about tactics with you soon. But it's not just about going to new places. It's also about having new experiences. And the amazing team at the Coalition is working hard to bring you our most ambitious Gears Award title yet, Gears 5. There we go! Thank you, man, you guys scared us for a second. <laughs> wow. As Kate, as Kate, you'll journey across the biggest and most beautiful world we've ever created, with the war for humanity escalates on two fronts, outside the capital city and within Kate herself. In this moment from the game, Kate leads a rescue message to a remote village, but something goes horribly wrong. It always does. <laughs> it was trash. I don't know. I've never played the Gears games. I take that back. I did play Gears of War 1 for a short time. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, I need food, y'all. Okay. No, 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 Thanks for coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? He's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Del, we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. <gasps> what? Dun, dun, dun. Something, something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No, no. <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay? I will push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you are coming back to Nuafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Hey, watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? Robbie, you get plenty where are we of going? Price. Back to where it all began. Who's in there we go. There's a tropical oh. setting. Who's ready to play? Are we the hunters? Oh, I like the ice forest. That kind of looks cool. Oh, are we the prey? Oh my god, that is absolutely terrifying. Hey, hey, what are you... Why did you come here with me? What did J.D. tell you? <laughs> this is why you I should try the Gears franchise someday. In the entire history of Xbox. So what do you guys think is the final game? In the entire game? history of E3, in the entire history of our industry, gaming is now at its most vibrant. What do you guys think will be the today, big finale? Today, we shared our commitment to giving you the freedom to discover it, and play <laughs> all of the great new games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Today, we showcased more games than we ever have before. 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, and 15 world premieres. Yeah, but... Today, we shared our most diverse gaming portfolio in every measure, from breadth and art style, genre, and cultures, 
range in subject and setting, scale and story and scope and creative vision. And every one of these plays best on Xbox. The world of gaming in, is on an historic growth path. Xbox Avatar. Where the increasing number of gamers is met with the increasing creative power of game developers. In this significant moment, we are constantly challenging I'm ourselves. Waiting for the, I'm waiting for the Where big can finale we take gaming game. gaming next? You know, the one that makes our everyone answer, lose their crap. We commit and harness the full breadth of our resources at Microsoft to deliver on the future of play. Our experts in Microsoft research are developing the future of gaming AI. So the worlds and characters <laughs> of we <Lolo>. enjoy <laughs> will be even more rich and I'd more buy immersive. an updated version of that. Those games are Our great. Our cloud engineers are building a game streaming network to unlock console quality gaming on any device. I'll believe that when I Not see it. Not only that, we are dedicated to perfecting your experience everywhere you want to play. Okay. On your Xbox, your PC, or your phone. And of course, our hardware team. The same team that delivered Xbox unprecedented One X performance two. with Xbox One X is deep into architecting the next Xbox consoles, where we will once again deliver on our commitment to set the benchmark Did he just talk about a new gaming. Xbox? And let's talk about our games themselves. We are committed to building an industry-leading first-party studios organization. And as you saw earlier, we are making one of our greatest single-year investments in teams by adding five new creative studios. The Xbox X1 We have committed X360X. our teams, our company, our technical resources, so we can declare to you today and next year and all of the years after that, you will always experience the best in gaming on Xbox. Yeah, that'll be nice. <clears throat> Have everything in So Steam. choose the games you want to play. There are worlds to be saved, heroes to be made, and legends to become. Together. Thanks, and have a great Easter. Oh, here it is. Here's the big reveal. What is it? <clears throat> Hacks. Icebreak.exe. Quick, pause all those. Those look like Steam codes. Guys, those look like Steam codes. E3 Taylor, final news final. What? Didn't those look like those look like Steam codes. Quickly, put everything in your in Steam code. In 2077, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. CD Projekt Red! I can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. The city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion, but it's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. What the hell is this? Sh it's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. I 
Cyberpunk. It's a brand new game. Oh, that looked cool. That look. The audience doesn't care. Ah, oh, there's the reaction. Ooh, I like Cyberpunk. Yeah, if it's CD Projekt Red, you know it's going to be a great game. You think you wanna play now? And that Crackdown 3 is amazing. That looks so much fun. Well, I don't think we have enough Cyberpunk for genres. I mean... Cyberpunk is such a great concept, and we barely explore it properly. But here's the problem. Alright, here's the problem. And this is my only negative about this conference, because this conference is very well done. My biggest problem is I guarantee you all these games are going to be on the PC also. You know, why buy an Xbox One X? I have it on my PC. I have PC controllers. I have Xbox 360 controllers that can use. I got this guy. I got a PlayStation 4 controller. It's not giving me a reason to buy an Xbox One X. And there we go, Xbox. Live at E3, the press conference, lots of news and announcements. Jeff Keeley here. I was actually over at the Microsoft Theater right behind there uh, watching. I just look at my badge Hello. here. But uh, now we are here for our post show, reacting to all things Xbox. We've got a great panel. It looks like Andrew uh, This Joe's is day excited. one of YouTube Live at E3, and this is hour four. So uh, Microsoft's press conference is over. We've got Bethesda later tonight with Rage 2. You saw a little bit of Fallout 76 on stage, but right now, let's get to our panel because joining me again are Boogie and Angry Joe, as well as some new faces. From outside extra, we've got Ellen Rose and the game theorist himself, Matt Pat. Uh, guys, let's get right into Man, it. I wish uh, I could Xbox, be a YouTube celebrity. Uh, Joe and Boogie were with this. us before, telling us what they were expecting. But Matt, Ellen, let's start with you guys. Uh, what did you think overall? What, what did Xbox have to do today in your eyes, and did they do it? Uh, I think Xbox really had to, uh, I mean, this is very clearly kind of an interim year, yeah. I think, for, for everyone, right? Last year, there was a lot of the Xbox One 4K gaming and a lot of big titles. This year, it's kind of like a down year, and so I was really curious what they would do. Uh, yeah, it was a great conference. They did exactly what they were supposed to do for an E3 conference. They, they talked games, 100%. Game after game after game after game after game after game. A lot of the games are showing off, uh, looks like they're going to come out this year or early next year. Another huge plus, I hate seeing titles that are like four or five years down the line. What's the point? What's the damn point? Um, Battletoads, my game of the month right now. Right now, that is super hype. I hope Battletoads comes out on the Switch. If it doesn't, I'll definitely get it on, on Windows 10. Um, God dang. Uh, Cyberpunk 277 looks great. That cute little fox game is adorable. Uh, I need to get the Cuphead. Um, yeah, 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 that, that Samurai game they showed, the very Onomusha-style uh, game they showed at the very start of the conference looks fun. Uh, a lot of great titles. Again, though, the biggest problem being they're all on the PC. They're going to be on the Microsoft Store. So I have no reason to buy an Xbox One X. Um, yeah, Oni, Oni in the Valley of the Winds or whatever that was called. Um, overall though, they nailed it. This was a great conference. Fantastic conference. Holy crap. All right, we'll turn off these guys' commentary right here. All right, guys, it sounds like we had a great freaking conference, one of the best I've seen in ages. Holy balls. Um, I'm going to have to do a few things around the house. I have to do some video editing and stuff. Hopefully in about... Jesus, it's already... Through. Jesus. Hopefully in maybe an hour or two we can watch Bethesda. If not, if I can't make Bethesda's conference for a live stream, I'll be watching it on my phone, and we'll be all hanging out in the Discord uh, talking about it. 
and having a uh, great th- you know great great time while it's live. We could talk about it on uh, Discord. I I then I agree, Robbie. I do hope they uh, use those studios. And that's the problem with Xbox is it's PC and Xbox. I wouldn't mind having an Xbox One X. I really wouldn't. You know, the 4K player alone is a great value, but there's no point in me dropping $400 when I got a great PC, especially with my new upgrades. They can play all the games that they show off. You know, a console needs console exclusives to justify purchasing the console. That's, that's, that's just the fact. Okay. That's the fact. That said, it's still a great lineup. Crap. Great action games and everything abound. Now, the woman likes to play games on console. She's not a fan of playing on a computer. So, that said, games like Devil May Cry 4, a 5 and all that, maybe. But the problem is, those are not Xbox exclusives. Those were world premiere trailers, which means they're most likely going to be on the PS4 as well. So, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see. But, Great conference overall. Easily a very high score. Give it a B plus. You know, an, an, an A minus, definitely. I mean, it was a great conference. A lot of hype. And they showed my battle toads, y'all. They showed my battle toads. You, 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 you. I want to post my reaction to that footage later today. But uh, guys, thank you for joining me. I had a lot of fun. Robbie, I'm glad you joined us. I love hanging out with you, buddy. It's been ages. Far too long. I'm so glad you came back on Discord, buddy. Uh, Kel, love having you here. Penguin, Tori, Ray, awesome. Yeah, it was a great conference, Rob. 100% great conference. Holy crap. So, um, I might not live stream Bethesda because I got a lot of work to do. So, we'll just focus on hanging out in Discord and talking about it live. So, I'll see you guys there. Uh, and I'm going to go get lunch. I'm starving. God, I'm effing starving. So, love you guys. My camera is so badly out of focus. Let's change that. You can actually see me. Look at that. Aw. Anyways, love you guys. See you later on. Um, I'm going to go eat. Talk to you guys later, and we'll see what Bethesda has in store for us later. All right. Bye.